everyone. I hope you all are doing fine. Yes? Very good. Now, all your exams are over, right? It is time for holidays. It is time to have fun. You have worked a lot for your exams. You have worked very hard. So, now it is time for your holidays and you are going to enjoy them. Right? Now, I tried something new today and it was magical. Do you know what? Magical. Okay? Now, this what I am having is magic water. What is it? Magic water. Okay? Now, I have, I have a paper with me. Can you see? I have a piece of paper. It is just paper. But when I put this paper inside this magic water, something magical happens. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? So shall I place this paper in this water? Yes. Now first, this paper. Ready everyone? Alright. I am placing this. Now see what happens. Alright. Now I am going to place the papers one by one. Alright. Now let's see what happens. I am going to place one, two and three. So now wait. Look what this magic water does to the papers. It is it is making it bloom. It is making it bloom into what? What is this blooming into? It's blooming into beautiful flowers. Can you see? It is blooming into beautiful flowers. Yes. So I have here with me four flowers of different colors. Yes. I have pink, orange, blue and red flower. Did you all see the magic of this water? Yes, it made the flowers bloom. Now, I hope you would have guessed what story we are going to see today. Okay? It is about these. It is about a flower. It is about one flower. We are going to see a story about one flower. Alright? And it is the most beautiful flower. It is known as rose. It is known as rose. So, today's story is about a red rose. It is about a red rose. So let's jump into the story now. The Red Rose Once upon a time, a red rose bloomed in a garden. Look at that red rose. It is so beautiful. It is just perfect. I wish him and I had a beautiful flower. How do you say that? Everyone has their own good quality. It is true. I am the most beautiful. There is nothing as beautiful as me. I don't know what I am doing in this garden. Why do you say that? Because it is the truth. Look around. Look at the cactus there. So hard and thorny. In fact, I'm going to try and move away from it right now. The rose tried a lot, but could not move away from the cactus. You are so proud of yourself, but you forget that you have thorns too. One day, you will learn to appreciate others for what they are. It is okay, Sunflower. There is no need to get angry about what the rose says. The days went by and summer came. It was dry and hot with no sign of rain. The rose was the most affected by the lack of water. But it often saw birds go to the cactus and dig into it with their beaks. What are they doing to the cactus? The cactus has water stored in its leaves. The birds are drinking the water from it. Doesn't it hurt? It does, but cactus doesn't mind. I know you are very thirsty. Maybe you can ask him too. Humbled by what it had just learned, the
The rose asked the cactus if it could have some water too. I am very thirsty. May I please have some water? Of course. Why didn't you ask me earlier? You can drink as much as you want. The birds will bring it to you in their beaks. Thank you so much. The rose's pride was now broken. It accepted the water from the cactus and changed the way he behaved with the other plants. I hope you all enjoyed today's story, right? So always respect each other. Don't put anyone down. Okay, I know all my kids are very good and they'll not do this. So, it is time for me to go. We'll meet again with a new story. Until then, it's bye from me. Take care everyone.